this is a pre disassembled engine so everything is going to come out fairly easy in your case may be a little bit different but uh, I'm going to be I'm going to start by removing the carburetor I'm using a four millimeter um, hex drive and again it's coming out very easily because this is like I said it's a pre disassembled engine once we have those out we remove our carburetor you're going to have to peel off your gaskets start putting everything aside next thing you're going to have to do is, is take the cylinder head out for that you need to remove four screws once those are removed you just pull on your cylinder head watch out for the cylinder you're going to try to extract the four screws not to lose them I'm going to put them on this magnet uh, tray there's a gasket right underneath we're going to replace with new gaskets next step is we want to uh, split our crankcase in half to be able to have access to the crankcase and a connecting rod here with the piston for that we need to remove these four screws in the back of the crank crankcase now you need to be able to separate the crankcase and for that um, you find something that you can tap this on like a plastic mallet or something like that I'm gonna be using the same screwdriver I had okay again this was pre disassembled so it came out easily you may have to tap it a little harder that leaves us with Our crankcase with our um, crankshaft connecting rod and piston uh, another thing and this is something that you can do right at the beginning before disassembling anything is uh, mark down your timing with the hull sensor just to take it out and be able to put it back in exactly where it was in order to do this I'm gonna mark the crankcase uh, with marks that are um, that I'm making right on the crankcase uh, I'm not using a um, like a sharpie or anything like that because if you put uh, your crankcase in any solvent so the mark is gonna go away that's why I'm using something that is gonna be permanent Now we need to take this shaft, which is the prop shaft, and uh, for that you may need a special tool. I have one that's been uh, battled to me. In this case we're using a um, aluminum ruler that's been pre-drilled um, to be able to take this out. So you're going to use the same, four of the same bolts you already took out from the engine or two of them may be sufficient next step is we need to take we need to unscrew these for that you're gonna need you're gonna need a long socket and this is obviously it was pre disassembled so it was easy to take out And now we have our prop guide or prop shaft out and if you notice from factory here there's no uh, tread lock instead there's a little bit of grease in there so I can see there was grease inside of here now to take the hop um, the engine hop we're gonna have to use a puller for that I'm gonna be using this tool which is a power steering pulley puller 
this you can get at your local um, auto auto parts store once we have the pulley puller in place I'm gonna start applying um, just minor tension I can tell you it's already you know coming out this was not pre disassembled so this is something I'm really doing uh, actual time in front of you guys okay I have found sort of like a aluminum extension um, that I put in there and I'm going to continue with the uh, extraction of a uh, of the hub okay. okay and we're out worked out perfectly I'm going to show you I just used this uh, little piece of aluminum as an extension to be able to take uh, this out now um, I can tell you there was some sort of a Loctite or something on the between the hub and the crankshaft I can tell there was some type of a material there. Once we have the hub out, we need to take this uh, little thing out which uh, is called the Woodruff key. Um, I am going to apply a little bit of heat on this one because um, I don't want to force it too much. Okay, it's coming up. There it is. Okay guys, uh, to take our crankshaft, I'm going to try to use the, the same crankshaft pulley pool that I used to take the hub out. See if this uh, works. Perfect. Okay. There we have it. Okay guys, I am trying to take the uh, bearings out and um, is I have I have applied heat. I slammed this here. Um, so far the heat hasn't worked for me. So what I did, um, there's a spacer in here. What I, I did is I tried to move the spacer aside. Uh, let me see if you can see that. So that I have access um, to tap out the bearings I hope you can see that that um, the, the spacer is kinda like moved inside and I'm gonna use the gap to try to tap out the um, the bearing let's see if that works out okay guys finally I'm being able to get one of them out with this metal to metal uh, There it is. So I've taken out the first bearing. There seems to be some type of a sealant applied uh, yeah, on these bearings. There we are. And yeah, there's is there is what I believe is some type of a lock lock sealer. That's what I think. There is some type of sealer on the on the bearings that I've been taking out. I don't know if you can see that hair like looking thing. It's like thread lock. And um, it came off all around all around the this bearing. There's still some here. There's still some. Okay guys I want to show you um, the reason why I am doing this uh, engine rebuild on this uh, DLE 55. 
here I have my new crankshaft with connecting rod this is the old one that I just took out of the engine and let me show you the difference between these two I want you to listen to the rattling this was um, evident when uh, when the engine was being flipped to be turned on and after it was on you could hear some rattling this is the new one there is a little bit of play but nothing I mean nothing to be compared you cannot hear that rattling here okay you can there's I would have to go very hard and in, to try to move it look at that Okay, that's the reason behind this engine repair.